Ah, <laughs> I really need a better vine farm. This is uh, not ideal. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Waddles. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty well myself. Thanks for asking. I know you asked. I, I just can't hear you, but I... I know you asked. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Let's Play series, episode 23. Now, you find me catching a tan on the beach and uh, actually just trying to find our farm vines up because we're going to continue work on the auto smelter that we started at the end of last episode. Uh, I'd love to try and finish up the auto smelter today, but I did do a little bit of mining off camera and continued to get some caves nice and lit up. So if we jump down into the, the strip mine here, I did connect it to our old entrance. I still don't have Optifine, so I can't really zoom. You're going to have to trust me, but uh, tons of stuff here. I didn't really strip mine. I actually, like, proper cave mined. So this is what I have here, and then I had three stacks of iron, uh, which I am smelting slash already smelted up. Uh, I went ahead and did some markers in that strip mine as well, because I think I'm probably going to use it for quite some time but uh so i'd like to just jump right into the project this is what's going on i really didn't do anything off camera at all but we need to go on over here and craft up some things now uh i've been trying to farm wood uh just around the guardian but i haven't been farming it really fast enough for my needs i have some trees planted uh but i need a whole lot more stuff so um we'll start off by making some hoppers i went ahead and you know set aside the iron that i need because i need 21 hoppers so uh let's just split that one more uh there we go so i'm gonna set up one wall of these furnaces and each wall is seven furnaces so 21 we need three for each hopper um we will need chests we'll need seven or no We'll need 21 chests as well. I might as well just take some more jungle. Uh, ooh. Uh, we'll take, uh, yep, just half of that jungle, I guess. I don't like to drain my wood resources all the way, but that's why we started the tree farm as well. Um, but uh, the digging has been going well. I'll show you at some point, uh, but there's a lot more that needs to get done, so that's going to you know, be in a few episodes' time. Uh, but over here is some more materials that I set out. Um, so furnaces let's start with that today and just set this up uh, so i can show you what exactly i'm thinking about um i've been getting hoarded by these things too <laughs> i lit up a lot of the caves around here and i can definitely like feel it now uh what is he doing is it does he have a fishing rod yeah he has a fishing rod but uh yeah i've been feeling the whole caves lit up i need to take care of the whole drowned thing soon uh, for sure, but, uh, so, we're gonna have our output and these bottom chests right here, something looking like that I think could be cool, uh, I do not want these chests to be connected, is that seven, one, two, three, four, yep, that's seven, okay, so, uh, now, to get the things into the output chest, we need hoppers going into each and every one of these, then, on top of those hoppers, we need the furnaces, so, these all go up here, again, facing outwards, because I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> I could turn them uh, backwards, though. We don't actually need to see the furnace look, but I really, really like it. Um, but the stripe is kind of nice. That's one thing that I I kind of don't see a lot of people decorate with these a lot. I, I like to use the tops and the floors, but uh, that's all besides the point. <laughs> so on the back, I think the fuel source goes... Uh, so we have that row back there, and then we'll put even more chests. I don't know how we're going to really be able to get into these chests, though. Um, can we reach these chests through the... Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so I have to get rid of him. Sorry, guys. And then on top of that, it goes our thing. So let's say we're going to smelt up cobblestone into stone, right? We're going to take... Uh, well, you know what? Let's just do it. Uh, so here's cobblestone. We'll just take eight coal. Um, so if we're going to smelt cobblestone, what we want to do is put cobble up there and then fuel in the back, and then that'll start going. And eventually, once one of these things smelts up, it'll get shot down into this chest right, um, right here. So, uh, uh yep, right there. So that's how that all works. Um, 
and this is going to be replicated across each and every wall in here and i mean each and every wall we're going to change the entrance so i was thinking about it and i really like this whole beam entrance you guys seem to really like it too so i think it could be cool to do like a bit of a glass dome in here and have water pour down from the middle so i can kind of fall into here and then eventually we'll have this on every wall so we have 28 auto smelters in here which will be way more than i ever <laughs> would need like by far i would never use this many uh auto smelters uh, or furnaces excuse me but that's good i want my stuff to be like way more than i would ever need um but with that all being said that means that this wall and the other walls are going to really be changed i don't really know how i'm going to go ahead and decorate them uh because we're going to keep the prismarine like speaking through and i'd love to do this on these walls but if we go um behind excuse me uh coming through <laughs> if we go back here we don't have a lot of room so my only other option here really would be a flat stone wall or popping things out of the wall like um like having some pillars go up on the outside right like like the prismarine sticking out that could look okay i think um but i don't know if i really like it so other than that i figured i could technically bring these chests one into the room but then we have kind of an odd corner i thought uh so i'm kind of unsure here <laughs> with how i really should should do this because if we bring these chests inward right that's fine but well, I was going to say we get a smaller area in here, but that really might not be all that bad. Hmm. 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 <laughs> you want to see something absolutely crazy that I don't know what to do with? Uh, down here, uh, in our storage system, I've begun to, you know, expand the chests, but with the project that I'm working on, uh... I've been prioritizing resources for the smelter. However, I went ahead and, you know, cleared out all of these chests, literally threw everything on the ground, and let it despawn uh, pretty much everywhere. Uh, not as much with these uh, crystals, because I think they're a little more valuable, but pretty much everywhere with these, uh, what are these, the shards. But look at this. <laughs> um, when am I ever going to need this many sea lanterns? And I can, of course, make more. Like, you saw all of that and, and all that. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, I love this farm. It's it's really cool. It's probably... Well, definitely my most productive farm ever. But... Um, uh, <laughs> what does one do with so many sea lanterns? Especially when I have sea pickles now. Because I want to light up the sea floor, right? To stop the drowned a bit. And... I want to use sea pickles. I don't want to use sea lanterns. Um, <laughs> what do I do with all of that stuff? Do I just let it despawn? Throw it into a trash? Uh, or maybe I let it fill up? But it's going to fill up very fast. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so I decided to move everything forwards. I think that's actually not that bad of an idea. Because then we can just do like a prismarine coating behind the stuff. And... Um, then do some kind of pattern on the wall here with bricks. And I will still be varying uh, these bricks between mossy bricks and cracked ones as well. But if we went uh, ahead and did the whole prismarine thing, I could even still get an arch going on in here in between um, these two pillars. So I thought that would be a cool idea to, to actually just kind of go ahead with. So this will all just get filled in. And from the inside, we see prismarine, which could be a lot um but from the outside we see just the a peak of prismarine i guess is what we could say uh this will all get blocked so that'll kind of help you know break up the prismarine like we can barely kind of see it at least down low uh right now and then if i add all of these other hoppers back in and get the actual chests in up here uh, we'll get a look. 
at what we are going to work with. I might be able to put some kind of wood in there, like a, like a staircase backwards or something. Uh, but the prismarine is really not actually that bad either, so that should be fine. I went ahead and I have 21 more hoppers. I do not have anywhere near enough uh, chests, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and figure out the structure of this build and try to get it in, so I'll... I'll work with the build and get the arches and everything in, and then we'll come back and and look at it. Uh, but this is what I'm thinking for an arch on this wall. Maybe something simple like that, and then... Hmm. We could do another one. Uh, like, we could do two. Kind of going like that, and then maybe we could do, like, a mini arch there. Um... Yeah, I think that's cool looking. <laughs> I kind of like that. I think that's cool. I, I might want to do something in the middle here to to break it up a little bit. Maybe some more bricks or something. Like a like a mini pillar coming in there. Mm, what if we pulled this out and uh, put it down here and took that? Um, then I could do like a cobblestone wall in there to, to finish that off, maybe? Because I don't know if that would... Uh, be good maybe that'll be good though actually um yeah that's kind of cool looking i kind of like that i think i'm gonna go with that i'm i'll copy this and get the build going and then for the the roof i'm thinking black stained glass dome so just a plain old dome but i i'll probably come back before that um but yep that's what i'm thinking with the build so uh, i'll have to get some variation going on in here too and this wall gets changed completely Real quick, let's take a look at the tree farm. Uh, so I decided to have the floor 14 blocks below the dirt ceiling right now because I want to have some of the ceiling hang down a little bit and this should allow all of the small trees and maybe even the dark oak trees to grow in here. Um, so I, I'd say it's maybe a quarter of the way done in here. I don't know though, I have a lot more digging to do. I've been throwing all of the stuff in these chests here. This is um, like resources I've mined up while doing it, and it connects to my strip mine, so uh, that's kind of cool. This is the, like, the first ravine that I went into in this world, and of course here is the strip mine, and down there is the entrance that I was in earlier. Oh, and this is here, a cactus access area, which is kind of cool. This all connects over to um, how I can come down into my cactus farm and take a look at the behind the scenes stuff. But, yep, so that's all going good, and so is, uh, this build. I made quite a few changes to what I was doing here. I realized, uh, the large amount of prismarine was just really, really bad looking, hard to look at, so I went ahead and I have the prismarine on the corner still, and then, uh, behind this design that I have going on, which I think looks good, and then that strip dark oak and slabs up here, so... It's just about time to do the glass ceiling. I don't have any more of the furnaces or anything like that in. Um, but I might have enough... Well, I should have enough glass all ready for me to go. Um, it's just a matter of uh, having enough room in my inventory, I guess. <laughs> um, so, uh, ink sacks are over here. This is my unsorted chest in here. And then this is monument extra blocks and then kelp, which I am going to auto smelt up. Uh, but glass. So, it's dome time. Uh, that's what I was going to go ahead and do. Uh, it should be pretty easy. And then I'm going to leave a 3x3 three three center so I can sink down into the room. Luckily, I made this building an odd, like, numbered building when I was setting it up. I didn't really even plan for that, so that'll kind of work out. Uh, and then the inside. So I'll continue these stone brick walls out. I just need to get more cracked brick and more mossy brick. And then eventually, I'll have all of these furnaces fill in. So uh, I won't be able to do that today, probably. But, uh, yep, that's what I'm thinking with the project. So time to... Kind of start this whole dome thing, and then probably, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, also, I don't know what I'm going to do with, you know, being able to see into here. I, I was thinking maybe spruce stairs behind here, like I mentioned, and then just kind of covering this with spruce wood or something like that, just to kind of hide it, right? Like, 
it has to be there, so I don't know. I have to do something with it. Uh, this is going to be an interesting dome, though, uh, because this is definitely <laughs> not a circle or not the correct circle. Maybe I should... Uh... Hmm. <laughs> this isn't going to be a, a normal dome at all. Uh, I'm going to give it a give it a shot, though. Uh, I think I know how to make domes pretty well, so I would go... Um up like that there and this would go around like that uh, <laughs> um is that right i don't know Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take a look at my domed, uh, it, what looks like an ocean observatory. <laughs> Interesting auto smelter building, uh, but I think the dome is almost perfect, actually, which I'm really surprised about. Uh, it does look a little square near the top, uh, but maybe not, you know? I think it's really not that bad of a dome. So this will be the entrance, this little beam entrance thing, as maybe we'll call it, and then furnaces right everywhere so i need to go ahead and uh drain it now so i have all my sponge i'm gonna you know place and and break and place and break and hopefully get this whole thing drained out and then i'll go ahead and finish up the walls like i mentioned that i would i i need to or uh yeah these walls those walls right there those need to get done so that'll be the next step after that maybe i need to block this off for now um that might make this a little easier. I should maybe put some lighting in the top, too, but I never know what to do. Like, I could do sea lanterns, obviously, but um, it's a matter of making them, you know, blend in and look good near the top. And sponges are kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, um, I know it's really, really dark in here, and yeah, you guys can probably barely see it, but look at how cool that looks out there with the kelp and, and the giant guardian that we can see peeking through. Ah, wow. That just looks so cool to me. <laughs> that is really awesome. Wow. The beam is in. Uh, the room is drained. And I've got the stone brick part of the walls finished. So as you can see, I'm going to go with dark oak beams in here. And then have the walls pop out. And I figured out how to uh, you know, work with this whole auto smelting thing that sits on this wall. So we'll install another one and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So we have our seven chests, right? Lining the room just like that. Then we take, uh, more hoppers, right? And aim them right into them. Uh, furnaces next facing outwards, just like the other wall. I can't really speed place these. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with what I'm saying. Uh, so furnaces, now more hoppers, right? Going into the, uh, the, the furnaces. And I have the prismarine kind of coating everything. Then after that, we'll have, um, a chest or, or a row of chests. This is the fuel, uh, area. And then I decided we'd take spruce stairs and go backwards, um, facing outwards. So we kind of cover the top of this chest and the back of the top chest. But after that, we go, uh, I need to put the hoppers in, and then I put a chest in, and then I have stairs facing, um, you know, outwards like normal, I suppose, uh, just like I have there to cover up the last of the prismarine so we don't get that weird blend. And then finally, to finish all of that off, I'll go in with slabs right along the top, so I kind of make a little shelf in there, which I think looks good from down here. And then if we go outside of this thing, I think it looks fine as well. It's a little flat looking, but that's fine, right? It covers up everything, and it makes it look a whole lot better than it would. Now, um, when I was setting up this room just a, a moment ago, you saw how I really liked uh, the look of the whole Guardian thing, and I think what I'd like to do is eat and then rip this wall out and put a big window in this wall because I think that'll look way better than just having prismarine uh so we will go back to having three separate walls of furnaces no um fourth wall or anything like that which is fine because uh 21 auto smelters is probably way more than i would ever need 
but I figured that all of this area could just be black stained glass, and that would look really good, and then I'll just continue um, the stone up to the window, right, so it all kind of blends in. Um, maybe I do that middle one as a uh, brick as well. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, maybe that middle one should be brick, but this way I can kind of see the guardian thing, and I think that looks so, so cool. Now, I just want to see what it looks like from the outside before I go and finish up the room. I think it'll look fine, right? Yep, that looks fine to me. Maybe I will leave the glass in so it kind of, you know, opens it up a whole lot more. Uh, so, I'm going to do oak floor in here. Pretty basic. And, uh, yep, then fix this corner up here. Maybe I'll do another uh, dark oak beam. That would look nice if I put a dark oak beam going up there. That would look cool. So, yep, that's the plan. Now, uh, hopefully when I'm back, it'll be done. Oh boy, <laughs> it's all done. I didn't do anything with the ground out here, though. Obviously, I need to pull the, the gravel forward to make that look a little better. But keep in mind, like, all of this ground is kind of slated to change. But I really do like that we're getting a town in here now. We have a building, a building, a building, a building that's in the ground. <laughs> um, but I do need to change the outside of our common tall building uh, it just really is sticking out in a bad way, right? Like, tons of stuff going on there. Uh, hi, Squid. But uh, inside of here, this is what's going on. Pretty basic as of right now. Slated to change, though. I could probably um, do some different stuff in here. But uh, I will get the third furnace thing in. But uh, we have a whole row here and a whole row here for now. So that's pretty good. And then I have this over here. But I do have an idea as to... Something that I'm going to, or could add to this room. So maybe next episode. I think I'm pretty low on time though. So I don't want to really start anything else today. Now, I, I appreciate all of your tool names. I kind of have been looking through them. And I have the ones that I really like. So I think we'll get to doing that next episode. This project took a little longer than I thought it would. Uh, can we see it? Yeah, we can. Uh, but today's comment of the day is from Hermit03. Uh, so the comment was all about lighting up the Guardian Spikes. And uh, Hermit said, use carpet uh, with some kind of, you know, lighting underneath it. And yeah, I, I, I don't know if I mentioned it in that episode, but I, I don't think I thought about the carpet. <laughs> that would be the really easy way to light up the spikes and actually I did do carpet uh like cyan carpet on the top of that guy so it's all light up there but not the spikes on on the top or down low so I liked that idea I think I'll do that uh maybe paired with acacia trap doors also uh I talked about wanting to do the books in in here right for each of these comments and I obviously didn't get to it I don't know if I'll go back and do all of the books for all of these old comments but I think uh, we're going to probably transition over to using books um, that are named for each episode eventually. Uh, I just need to get a squid farm in somewhere, which which will be fun to do, but it just doesn't really make sense to do right now. So we're going to keep using nuggets. I'll probably take the middle chests out because I don't think I'll get to it. And uh, eventually we'll just switch over to named books or something like that and do the, the frames and everything still because I like that idea. But, yep, uh, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have any ideas, throw them down below. Uh, if you want early access to these episodes because they don't come out fast enough for you, uh, consider checking out my Patreon. Uh, I do early release the episodes over there, so that's a thing. Um, thanks for watching. My name is Waddles. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.